Minneapolis police still searching for suspects who kidnapped and robbed victim on U campus Minneapolis, Minneapolis police are looking for whoever kidnapped and robbed a 20-year-old at gunpoint in the heart of the University of Minnesota's East Bank campus early Sunday. Time equals 400 ms, greater than according to MPD and the University Safety Alert. Three men followed a 20-year-old as the victim left the bar Sally's. The suspects then forced the victim into a car a few blocks away, robbed the victim at gunpoint then left the victim somewhere in St. Paul near Interstate 94. The kidnapping occurred in the Superblock, an area comprised of four dorms, a stadium and a hospital, all within a short walk from each other. It's well populated and well lit, too. Grad student Caleb Anton says he walks these streets every day, and visits Sally's, too. Related, U of M police say. Person was kidnapped, robbed on campus early Sunday, knowing that that happened right there is just astounding to me. There are so many people walking these streets, you'd think how would this happen to someone right here? Anton said, it happened right there. I think the intent was to steal and kidnap someone. I don't think it wouldn't have stopped if there was more police and anything more. Those people intended to do that, and nothing could have stopped them. What just happened is an important question, and the beginning of a conversation between many students, friends and colleagues. What happens next is also important. What, if anything, could be done differently by the U? Campus and Minneapolis Police Departments to prevent the next tragedy? The safety alert was the sixth one sent to students this academic year. That's less than last year and fewer than half the amount from the year before. Grace Bischke, a grad student who did her undergrad at St. Olaf College in Northfield, said the kidnapping just underscores the need for personal responsibility living in the big city. I have mace, I also have my flashlight on my phone, Bischke said. Pretty much every time I'm walking around in the dark, I also have like a personal alarm that if gets pulled it just starts blaring. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than hopefully, she'll never have to use either. Police weren't able to tell WCCO if the victim was a student at the U. We do know no one was hurt, and there's no word on any arrests.